electrostatic pressure so here we will discuss if we have a conductor and it is certain small element let's say the charge density there is sigma coulomb per meter square so we need to find what is the pressure experienced by this element so what will be the force per unit area on this small surface element on this conductor so let's find that so first thing we do is look at it like this so the element is on the right and just remove the element and divide this conductor into two pieces so the element itself surface element itself and the rest of the conductor so let's call them a and b now let's write the electric field in the region because of each of them so just outside because of the element the field will be ea and because of rest of the conductor let's say field is eb which gives the net field e net and inside the conductor so again because of the the rest of the conductor the field will be eb and because of the element it will be ea but in opposite side see this point is very near to the surface so i have shown it far away but actually it's very near so because of the conductor there won't be much change just a point outside and inside the field because of the conductor is going to be same so just inside also field is eb because of the conductor and just outside also it is eb in the same direction but because of the element the direction will reverse but magnitude is still going to be same so from here we can we arrive at two points so we know that field at point p just outside the conductor is sigma by epsilon we have proven this with gauss law that if you have a surface with on a conductor then electric field just outside the conductor is sigma by epsilon so on point i should say point 2 so on point 2 just outside the electric field e net is sigma by epsilon and electric field inside the conductor we know is zero so field at point 1 just inside the conductor surface is zero so from here we will get two equations for outside we will get ea plus eb is equal to sigma by epsilon and inside we will get ea is equal to eb so from here we will get ea is equal to eb is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon solving these two equations which is an interesting result because this lets us know what is the electric field acting on this small surface element so that is the electric field due to the conductor so now we can write force on b so force on our element b due to the field generated by a is dq into ea and dq we can write as sigma into ds and ea we calculated is sigma by 2 epsilon so this gives df is equal to sigma ds into sigma by 2 epsilon if we take ds this side we get df by ds is equal to sigma square by 2 epsilon a constant and df by ds is known as electrostatic pressure force per unit area which we wanted to find electrostatic pressure so it's the pressure as experienced by surface element of a conductor with a given charge density sigma so this sir this pressure is at this point so obviously on a conductor the charge density can vary at different points so the pressure will also vary but for symmetric elements like a conducting sphere or a conducting plate the pressure is going to be same electrostatic pressure